Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let's uh, see what all the things we need to do at Nash. So we have seen almost uh, the two videos. So in the fourth uh, tutorial, I have been explaining you how to uh, the particular demo works. And in the fifth, we have installed the particular uh, stuff and uh, we have uh, done the React class based components and we have done this particular uh, thing that is we have added the navbar and we have added the particular routing path uh, with this particular uh, video okay so you can access all the particular videos uh, from the description i have added the playlist link so now let's uh, move on to the next another topic so what i want to do here is if i just open the news api class so the news api.org website so where we have the documentation right so where we have uh, got the secret key so i have said you how to get the secret key and we have copied this entire data where we have copied that entire data inside my news.js uh, particular file so in this particular uh, no i want to need here is i want to get all this i want to just uh, display all this entire data inside my website i want to just display everything over here so if i just open this side so now i'll just come back to here so where i am rendering it right so here i am just rendering the particular news so the news you can see this particular news uh, the thing is been not displaying at because uh, the uh, it is thing it is just news.js has been not rendered right now so we have rendered only the what we have just rendered the particular nav or dot js file so now let's see uh, what we want to do it next so in this uh, now what i need to do here is i'll just uh, create one uh, thing like i'll in the news.js file i'll just uh, give one particular uh, stuff so all the thing is there i'll just return uh, inside one uh, particular uh, this particular tag so i'll just give one h1 tag so i'll just, can just give it anything whichever you like so i'll just give the particular uh, h1 tag or anything like that so in this particular h1 tag what i'll just here is i'll just give this particular class name i'll just give the class name is equal to uh, text center and the particular text color should be uh, i'll just give it as a uh, success color okay so it should be the green color so i'll just give it here as a uh, live news i'll just mention live news okay so i'll just give it as a live news over here so once i said so you can see it has been not displayed because i am not uh, rendering right now so it has been just uh, displaying right like this okay so here what i need to do here is i need to just pass the title name description and so here you see we have uh, all those things here so we have uh, these many stuffs right so we have what we have the title we have and we have the description and uh, a number of things we have so i want to pass everything over here so how i need to pass here is i want to just apply the particular one row i need to just create so what i'll do here is in the live news so what i'll do here is i'll just um, i'll just create one container i'll just tell div dot container so in the container and it should be the margin from the top should be three so i have created one particular container so i'll just create one row i'll just tell div dot uh, or whatever row so i'm just creating a one row so inside one row i want to map everything right so i want to map all the content of this article so i want to just map everything from this particular article so what i'll do here is so i'll just say here as hey, i'll just uh, create one thing so i'll just map with this particular entire thing i'll just tell uh, i'll just create one uh, like this i'll say this dot state so we, i want to just set the particular this particular entire state so whatever the articles has been there so for with this particular i'll just do the mapping over here so i'll just create a map function over here so what it this means it will just return me the element so i'll just tell it want to return the entire element so this element should what it does mean it should return one particular uh, card element so i want to just so i want to just map entire this element what are the elements are there so what are the articles are there so i want to pass uh, in this particular fashion so whatever the state what are the present state will be there from the particular article i want to just map and i want to iterate the entire element from it okay so i'll just enter and uh, get this particular uh, thing so i'll just say here one thing i just want to return with this one thing what it should return it should return one thing so all the things it should return it should return one uh, i think I, I want to just return one uh, inside one particular uh, column wise it should return the particular content so i'll just tell return so in this return what i'll do here is i'll just create one div tag so what you'll do is a div dot column of medium size i want to just create a medium size of column of four so it's in the particular row there will be a total columns so four 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 i want to divide it so i'll just dividing one particular row into the 
uh, and uh, like a number of columns so one row i am just dividing with the four columns so in one row it will be 12 columns if i am just giving a four of a columns so four 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 so three cards will be displaying inside my site so okay so this was the thing we'll be doing over here so in this uh, thing what i need to do here is uh, i want to pass one uh, so whenever i am just iterating some of the thing i want to just pass one particular key so for this particular key what i'll just do here eh? so what are the elements i'm getting so sorry not easy i'll just tell element element so from this element what are the element i'm just passing it here from this i'll just pass the url as a unique element so if i see in my element we have an url over here so somewhere it might be there so you can see we have the url okay so this one i'm just passing as a and a unique key over here so your unique key i'm just passing it over here so in this particular thing what i want to just return here is i want to go i want to just render it to the news dot item file here so what i'll just tell i'll just pop the particular props over here i'll just tell so whatever the news dot item is there so news mm, what i have given news item aetm item okay so i'll just give it as a news item so it is not iterating it so what i'll do here is i'll just uh, uh, remove like this i'll just give it like this okay so when i just give like this so it should iterate so it is not iterating it so i want to import it also just tell news item so if i just uh, tell i like, get news item if i just press uh, if i just see the suggestions so i cannot uh, get the particular news item so this particular component i'm not able to get it so what i'll do here is so i'll just go here so somewhere if i just go here and if i just go back to the news item best go i'll just go to the app.js so i'll just copy like this and uh, news dot in the news.js file i'll just import the news item so i'll just say here i want to import what i want to just import news um, item okay so item item so items or item items okay so from where it is there it is there inside the components and it should just give it like this okay if i just save like this so that's all from this news item i'm just iterating it so in this new item i'll just pass a number of attributes so all the things i will pass i'll just pass the title here okay i'll just pass the particular title so for the title i want to just uh, load it with the element dot ti tle title from the elements i'm just loading the particular title so same way i want to just <coughs> get the description for the description i'll just give it as a element element dot description so next i want to have what url i want to get an url also so i'll just tell here in the url i'll just give it as an element dot <coughs> url so next what i need to have link url so we have the link url so i'll just pass the whatever the link uh, for to load the particular uh, entire uh, data so for here we have the element dot in my <coughs> thing we have the element dot uh link url somewhere it might be so i think for the link url i want to just give it as an author okay so i will just pass the particular author name also so for, if, for this one i'll just give it as a uh okay so for the uh, url i have given as a element url to image so here i need to just give it as a url to image and here i want to just give it as a url so for the this one and for the author i'll just pass the author name also so for the author i'll just pass uh the particular element dot author element dot author so i'm just passing the author name so next i want to just pass the particular date also so for dot date i'll just pass the element dot data element dot published date so i published whatever the published it is there it will be there inside the data so then i want to just pass the src source <coughs> so for the source i want to just pass element dot s for your c source dot name so what i am just passing here means you can see so here we have a source id the particular branding name so this time just passing the particular brand name over here so that's all so we have done the uh, number of uh, one particular content we have been done over here so this has been done we have just passed this uh, stuff if i just save everything if i just come back to my side so everything is working fine there is no any if i refresh you can see my app is working perfectly fine so now what i need to do here is now i want to just go back to my news item so where i want to just go back to the news item over here so where here i want to just get all the entire element from here so what i'll do here is i want to get everything whatever the thing is there it is just passing as a props over here <coughs> so what all the things will be there everything is been getting passed as in uh, props now i want to just go back to my news dot item so in the news dot item i want to just uh, get everything over here so all the thing i want i want to get here is i'll just uh, remove so i want to just get all the thing inside in the form of it because we're using a class based component so the constructor is going to run over here so here in the in this case i want to just have a title over here so i'm just passing the part, entire title sorry i want to just tell title so i want to just create one title then i need to have a description description okay so i need to have any description then we are just passing the url then we are passing the link url link url so i'll just give it as a url over here then i'm just passing what author 
so this time i'm just passing as an author over here so then i'm just passing one more thing that is a date so we are getting the date then we are getting the particular source format so title description url link to url and author as well as a date i am getting it okay so in this uh, after getting this kind of stuff so where i am getting so this all the things i'm getting from the props so let's tell this dot props so from the props i want i'm getting all this content okay so it has been done so once it has been done so this is what we have been set over here so this is getting with so i'm getting an error so what is the error here is uh so okay so what i need to do here is i am not to, I just want whatever the return is there i am just um in a boy i need to just put it okay so what all the export of the thing is then so here i'll just put it if i just put it over here okay so i'm just putting uh let's put everything over here so now what i need to do here is i want to just map everything with one particular card so i'll just say here as a div dot container so let's tell div dot container so from the container i want to have the particular margin i want to have a four so i just created a container over here so let's tell div dot uh, card i'll just create an entire card so this is a bootstrap card so inside a card what all the things it is i want to just get the particular image of it so in the image what i want to get is wherever there is a source wherever there is a source so here i want to just pass the url of it i want to just pass the url link of the particular image over here if the image is not there what i need to just give it i'll just tell not font i'll just tell not font I, it should just display not font and i'll just give the class name so i'll just give the class name of the bootstrap so the class name is a card of img that is a top so if i just show you from here i am just getting all this thing here is so if I just uh, come back to the get list uh, here, getbootstrap.com. Um, inside the getbootstrap.com, if I just go back to the documentations. So if I just see here as a component, if I just click on the cards, so you can see I'm getting, this is the card, I'm just getting it over here. So you can see I'm just getting this card. So I need to have a card body also right now. So I'll just copy this entire card body from here to here, I'll just copy. So let's copy the card body and uh, coming back to here. So after the image, I want to just paste the particular card body. So let's paste the particular card body. So inside the card body, I have a class. So wherever there is a class, uh, I'll just uh, mention the class name over here. So here as well as uh, here and here uh, and here. I want to just mention card name. Okay, so the class name I need to just give it. So whatever the title is been there. So whatever the class title is been there. So it should just display the particular class title, right? So here I'll just display the whatever the class title is there. I'll just uh, display the entire uh, class title over here. So for the class title, so I'll just tell whatever the uh, whatever the title is in there, I want to just pass it over here. So I'll just pass and show you. So let's pass the T A T L E title. So I'm just passing the card title over here. So once the card title is written, whatever wherever there is a description, so whatever the description is there, I'll just pass it in the in this particular place. So I'll just give it as a description. So here I'm just passing the entire description of it. So that's it. So and I can if I want to just pass the author name, I'll just pass it over here. So I'll just give the paragraph tag. So I'll just tell by so I'll just give it as a AUTH or author name. So whatever the author is, that should get passed over here. And uh, the author should get passed. Next, what is the thing? I need to just pass the uh, date also, right? So I'll just pass the date also. I just tell uh, published at published. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just give the date over here at the end of the thing. So I'll just give one uh, HR line. So in the HR line, I'll just pass uh, the particular date of it. Okay. So let's pass the date of it over here. So here I'm just passing the date of it. Okay. So you all have been passed. I have just passed the entire thing. So I I mean to just use the uh, link URL also. So where I can just uh, use the entire link URL. So you see now let's see uh, we are just passing this uh, uh, till here. So I'll just uh, save it. So here I want to just tell it as a read more, right? So here I want to just pass read more. So if I want to just tell add a, a, a something, if I just give it like a I want to read a, a more thing like means. Here I can just pass the read more over here. So wherever the href is there, I can just uh, pass the particular link URL to it. So I'll just pass the link URL. So I just tell it as a link URL. Just save it. Okay. So now I'll just save everything from here. So if I just come back over here inside my React application, if I refresh, so you can see nothing is been uh, fetching right now. Why it is not fetching? Because so if I just come back to the news item, so where is it? So here it has been exporting the particular uh, news item class component. Everything is perfect over here. And if I just come back to the news.js file, so where uh, the news.js file is, uh, is here. So even the things, which, yeah, everything has been fine. So coming back to the navbar.js file, so where I need to just, uh, I think I need to just mention like, uh, so here is the navbar. 
so nav bar is been there so in the nav bar is been there so here i need to just pass the particular thing so sorry i need to go into the app.js so here i am not just uh, passing the entire uh, stuff right so here what i need to do here is in my app.js file i need to just set the particular uh, i need to just pass the particular uh, thing i need to just pass the entire route so whenever there is a thing i need to just pass one uh, uh, after the nav bar so later we'll be passing the routing part also so now i want i need to do here is i need to just pass the uh the thing i need to just pass what i need to just pass the particular uh, news thing over here i need to just pass the news over here so if i just say here as a news so i'll just pass the news component okay, i'm just passing the news component so if i just save it if i come back over here if i refresh uh i'm getting an error something has been wrong so let me see so it is just loading so I'm just passing the news over here so news is coming from where it will just go back to the news so whatever the thing is been getting returning uh, whatever the thing is getting written so that particular uh, thing should get over here so it is just getting an error so here it is telling me uh, cannot resolve dot components or news item inside the hunk slash components so where i am getting the error so let me try uh, if i just go back at the top so i think this is the thing i am getting an error right so news items news items so it is the error i am getting it coming back to the app.js file so let's copy okay i need to just copy the news also so news coming back to the news here so i think i am just uh, rendering it to where i'm just rendering it to the news item right yeah perfect so what is the error i'm getting here if i just go back to the news item so news anywhere so very exactly i'm getting an error so it is getting an error in the hunk news src slash component and uh, can't resolve the news item so module not found error cannot resolve the news item so let me try so again if i just give it as a so let's go back to the news item uh let's tell news items okay so i will be done so let's remove this much so what i'll do i'll just copy these three things i'll just paste it everywhere so on the top i'll just paste it so i think here i'm getting an error okay so i'll just paste it over here and if i just come here in the news item so also i'll just paste it so here i'll just in the news item i don't need to have a news item over here so let me see if i just save it everything what will happen if i save everything so here also i'm getting an error so what is the error so it is getting news or already declared so i'm getting news has been already declared okay okay so actually i need to i don't need to have this news item in the news uh, things what is one silly mistake and even in the news.js i need to not i don't need to have news over here okay so let's remove it so let's save it everything so because in the news dot item i am just loading all the component of this you can see here in the i am just returning everything in the news dot item over here somewhere it is there so you can see news items okay so there i am just rendering it here so this is the perfect so news item so let me see i'll just copy this much i'll just paste it over here should not be in any mistakes so if i just save everything coming back to the page okay i'm getting an error again so it is telling me module not found dot slash component slash news so why i'm getting like this so basically directly i'll tell so from, i want to just import the news item from the dot slash okay in the same file i have the news item over here and even in the here i'll just tell i don't need to have a uh, in the news item i need to just load it in this particular fashion so i want to just import the news with this particular stuff so i'll just save all let me try now you can see okay now the errors has been gone but i am not able to see anything over here so what is the issue so there will be a lot of errors so we'll try to debug it so if i just see i'm getting an error the cannot read the properties of undesigned and uh, cannot read the properties of articles okay it is just telling me uh, what is articles i am not able to read so what is this articles it is not able to uh, access this inside the news.js file so from this particular news so what is this uh, particular articles it is not uh, able to uh, get it so what i'll do here is i'll let's say here as a let articles or else i'll just give it as a const okay it is not giving so in the articles it is not able to access the particular content mm, so what i can do here is uh so i'm just what i'm doing here is i whatever the articles will be there just i'm just passing like this right so let me see anything uh, i need to just uh, give it so actually i think uh, in the news i need to just uh, pass the particular category wise or uh, i need to just set up the particular props i think so if i just go back to the news.item file so let's go to the news item here 
so here in the articles up before the articles i'll just set up the few default of props over here so for the crawl so here the, the props is not getting setting because we need to because we are using a class based component in the function based component we were just passing the props so here we need to export the particular articles right so what i'll just say i'll just give the sum of the static uh, for default props over here. i'll just give it as a default props so i'll just give it a default and i'll just give it as a p or ops props so this props what it does means it will just uh, render the other stuff over here so what i want to do here is i want to just um default props i'll be just setting setting over here so i'll just set for the country so i want to just uh, set it for the uh, just i'll just set it for the country mm, the country what it should be there here is it should be the country of india so i want to just in means india it is from the documentation then i'll just set it the particular page yes as it is size so this particular page size i'll just pass later so i'll just tell what is page size so i'll just give it as a 10 right now then i'll just give it as a category so c a t e g o r i category so category should be what general so actually it is a uh, letter i can just do it for this one so we are just setting the default uh, props here. so these all the things should be there so then what i'll do here i'll just tell static so i need to just tell static prop types p r o p s uh, props type so p r o p s prop sorry prop t y b s types so i want to just uh, give like this so here what i need to just tell whatever the country is there so i'll just make it this as a uh, prop type so i'll just make it as a pure ops prop types okay so let's tell this now i want to just give it as a prop types so this is a prop types i need to just give it as a capital so this prop types will be coming with some of the model i'll just tell this particular prop types will be what it will be the string and it should be required is required so is or e uh just get direct okay is required i need to just set it is r e q u i already required so then what i need to just set it i'm same as well as a page size so even for the press uh, pages i want to just tell uh, props types what are the prop types will be there so it will be prop t y p s prop types so this prop types will be what number let's give it as this is a number and it should also is required so i want to just give it as is, is required so it should be required field then i'll just give it as a category over here so i'll just give it as a category so what are the category category also what are the prop types will be there so p r o p prop t y p e s types is there it should be also like it should be it will be also a string so i'll give it as a string dot is required is required done okay so now what i need to do here so this is just a letter so later we'll fix uh, later we will pass an api key for that time it is going to useful so that's where i've been setting this one so what i need to do here is i want to just set the particular prop types over here so let's tell if i just set it as the prop types it is prop types is coming from the props types this is a from a module this particular modules the prop type is been coming over here if i come back if i refresh here right now so again i am getting an error that is a reading articles is not been uh, so Uh, the above error occur in the news okay so with this particular news i am getting an error so what is the error means in the news so basically i am getting an error with this particular point of view so what is the error here is whatever the articles has been there it is not able to uh, get it out it is not able to get so what i need to do here is i need to run one particular constructor over here so i need to run the particular constructor so what i'll do here is i'll just run one particular constructor so what i'll just do it's every time objects gets created constructor is going to run so i'll just create one constructor so i'll just pass the particular props to it p r o p s props i'll just props pass the particular props to it so what is the props is going to do here is so whenever the constructor is been there the super you need to define compulsory so i'm just defining a super class so now if i just tell clg log if i just tell clg log i'll just tell i am a constructor i am constructor if i just save it like it if i come back and refresh you can see the constructor is running i am constructor i am constructor two times it been run so the two objects has been created so i need to cannot read the properties of null of the articles so two things uh, something is been running so two times it is, it is just running okay done so i am a constructor is been running. so whenever the super whenever the objects will get whenever this uh, particular things objects get created this constructor is going to run compulsory so now what i'll do here is i'll just set the particular uh, state over here so i'll just say uh, this dot state i need to just set the state right so what are the state is there so for this particular state i'll just set the few of the things so i'll just set the articles here so now i'll just set the particular articles so what are the articles are there uh, articles so articles sorry sorry so articles 
I'll just mention like articles is equal to so whatever the articles will be there so what I need to do here is so whatever the articles will be there I'll just uh, uh, give one uh, thing so I'll just say keep it as uh, whatever the articles will be there uh, I think this dot articles I need to just set it so so let's say whatever the articles has been there so here I'll just load it in this uh, particular whatever the lot articles will be there I want to just load it with this particular stuff so now I'll just save I'll just save everything so I'll just save all so here you can see I'm getting a live news but I am uh, not able to access the uh, stuff right now so I'm able to get that if you can see I have all the things has been working fine so no errors now so only the simple error is there. so but the live news is coming but I am not able to see the particular articles so if I just give so articles is equal to uh, this so sorry, let's say this dot um, articles so if I just give it as a this dot articles so let me see I just save it so if I refresh the particular button super super you can see I am able to access all the news I am easy, yeah, I mean it's easy to access all the things so you can see the all the line news is been coming over here so it's so easy right so just neglect this part so at the top of the thing I just said it this is the static so I just comment it right now so let's set comment right now because it was not there it got a little bit confused so what basically what we are doing right now is whatever the content is been there whatever the content is there so for that particular content whenever i want to pass as an object to a thing so constructor is going to run it over here so constructor is going to run so i'm just calling the super method and uh, whenever i'm calling the super method i am just passing whatever uh, here you see i'm just setting the particular state right so this is our state dot set uh, multiple so whatever the state this current state is there so that particular current state should map whenever uh, so one object will load again second third fourth fifth so same as it is the things will get loaded and whatever the elements will be there it will just pass to the news item over here so whatever the news items is there it is just going to pass so let's remove this news item it. okay so this is the thing is being going to pass so this is how we can access all the completely you can see i am getting all the perfect uh, stuff i am getting an image i am getting the or else i am getting an uh, title i am getting in a description all those things has been getting so this is how this is how we are able to access the particular entire news with the json simple json file so all the data has been in the json format so now what i am going to do here is i'll just uh, i'll just close these articles so i'll just uh, remove everything i'll just i don't want to have this article i'll just comment out right now okay so what i'll do here is i'll just comment out right now so what i'll do i'll just i'll just comment few of the stuffs over here so let's press ctrl z so what I need to do here is whatever this content is there. So I'll just comment this much. So I'll just from here to here, I'll just comment it. Okay, so I want to give you the code. I want to give the code for you guys. So I'll just comment this much line of code. Okay, so I'll just keep empty articles now. So you can see I'm just keeping an empty articles right now. So now what I'll do here is I'll just save everything. Once I save, you can see I'm not having anything. I'm just having a live things over here. So now what I need to do here is now I want to use the concepts of API keys. So now what I need to do here is I need to use the concepts of API. So you can see we have a API key over here. So we have a API key. So with this API key, I want to directly from here, I want to load the data inside my website. I don't want to load the particular present data, which is there in the JSON format. So I want to load the particular API key. So for that particular uh, stuff, so what I need to do here is I need to do three of the configurations. So we have something when I'm, so we have a, we have created a constructor. So you saw we have the created a constructor. So now what I need to do here is, uh, we need to uh, so we have created a constructor right so what i need to do here is we need to just set the particular uh, article so i need to just set so we have set the particular this dot state that is articles so we will be seeing um, like a pre, pre i want to just do one thing uh, i want to just load all the data right so for that one what i need to do here is uh, i want i want to just uh, so these are concepts of asynchronous function over here so what i need to do here what are the uh, i'll just set the particular uh, i'll just create one function that is a component did mount so we have in the react js component did mount so in whatever the count component did mount is something is there whenever the constructor run then the component did mount function is going to run so that component did mount function name is asynchronous function we are just setting that con uh, thing right? so just a component did mount so sorry not cache component did mount mount so component did mount function we have in the react js so we are what this function does means so what it will just do it will just set the particular uh, if i just see if i just show you here if i just sell clg if i just sell i'll just tell i am mounted i am mounted okay so if i just say i am mounted if i just show you here i will uh, i'll just show you in the console so so see in the console so i am constructor i am mounted you can see what is the meaning of this okay i am constructor i am mounted that means whenever the constructor and after the constructor 
component with mount function is going to run just understand this much okay so now what i need to do here is i want to load i want to just fetch all the data from it so what i need to do here is i'll just tell let url so whatever the url is there so whatever the url is there so this particular url i want to just fetch from there i want to just fetch it from here so i'll just copy this url so here we are having an i'll just uh, use the small url so where i have a few data so if i just press here so here 69 articles are there so i'll use this one i'll just use this api key i'll just copy the api key so i'll just paste it over here so this is my api key so where i am loading the entire uh, url of the data so what i'll do here is so in this particular api key now what i'll do here is so now what i'll do i'll just tell let so whatever the data is there i want to just get one by one right so let's say data is equal to i'll just use the await function so these are all the javascript uh, concepts so await function so here i'm just telling i want to just fetch the what i want to just fetch the url so i want to fetch the this entire url i want to just fetch it done so now after fetching the url so whatever the this dot articles are there right i want to just set it now so i'll just tell uh this uh so i want to just fetch, uh, next what i need to do i want to just pass the data first so now i want to just pass the particular data i'll just tell let i want to just pa or scd parsed data so i want to just use it as a parse data or something like that i'll just tell you that a parse data uh, is equal to what are the parse data is there again i'll just tell await i'll just use the concept of await function i'm just telling await so here i want to what are the data dot i want to just convert everything inside the json format so i want to just convert everything inside the json format. if i just show you in the console log if i just show you the parse data p r s c d parse d a d a data so now you see if i just save this much so if i just show you if i refresh the stuff you can see i am getting a data here you can see status okay i am getting total 69 articles so from this api key i am easily access all i am easily i am able to access all the entire data you can see inside the console over here right perfect so now coming back to the concept so now so what i need to do here is uh, now i need to uh, whatever the data has been there just i need to just pass it so there is no any big rocket science over here so now what i need to do here is uh, after getting the particular data so literally we'll set the particular the previous key next key all those things so now what i need to do here is i need to just set the particular state i'll just tell this dot set the particular state so i want to just set the state so what is the state i want to just set so wherever there is a articles so articles so what are the articles is there i want to sorry i need to just tell articles so what are the articles is been there so for this particular articles i want to just pass the but entire data so what are the past data is there what are the from the past data so see from the past data so if i just show you here so this is my past data right so this is my past data object so from this i want to iterate the articles so i want to just tell past data dot articles i need to just tell dot articles so i'm just passing the uh, articles over here that's it so now i'm not i'm not doing anything uh, much more over here so that's it if i just save everything coming back to my website so you can see i am easily able to load the live news i am easily able to load the live news so you can see there is a uh, conflict going between russia and ukraine so you can see all the data has been coming over here so you can see the semiconductor sales russia band should not be amid with the chip makers so now i am easily able to access the entire data i am so i am easily able to access what entire data from this entire api key so if i want to access any other so if i just want to access this 10 results so the first uh, author is a roman delete title will be the synapse medicine rate to dollar two hundred and eighty dollar twenty eight million so if i want to just use this one which i'll just come back here i'll just uh, change this uh, this one i'll just change this uh, category so if i just come back here means you can see i'm getting only 10 data over here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you can see the first is a live near unicorn kin uh, insurance so if i just come back here you can see the entire that particular thing will be there somewhere here so here you see uh ingrid, uh, ingrid ludden something i don't know ingrid ludden where is the ingrid ludden so if i just see the author name ingrid ludden you can see ingrid ludden the data has been there for the name apps at all 55 million to expand so you can see the neva naps dollar 55 to be expand so this is able to so though in the we have been successfully what we have did here is so uh successfully we have been uh got the entire live news over here so now now it is the next what we need to do here is if i show you the documentation over here if i just show you the documentation if i say you here as a top headlines 
if i just click on the top headline so you can see top headlines means we can access the, with, with the country code i can access the country code is uh, in is also so we are in india in we have so category uh, category wise so business entertainment general health science sports and technology so this all things i want to just display here so in the navbar i want to just display all these uh, four things then whenever i click based on the category i need to get the data so okay so and uh, sources are the categories are there so page size also we have so the number of results written to the per page that is 20 is the default and 100 is the maximum so here you see uh, 20 here whenever if i just uh, use this api key uh, of the 2000 or 1000 uh, news so all the thing uh, only 20 things is been setting 20 20 uh, 20 data has been displaying over here right so for 20 data it is displaying so what we can do here is so we in the one particular page i want to set 20 data so in the next page i want to just get the 20 or 10 or 5 like that whichever your choice so if i want to get only uh, three data over here i want to keep one previous as well as a next button over here so that all things we can just do it so that thing all that all the stuffs will be setting inside my next video so if you are new to the channel subscribe to my channel so you can see we have been uh, created uh, we have been fetching the live news in our website so in my next video we'll be adding more functionality previous page next page and the top loading bar spinners loading page all those things will be creating over there and the category wise so i'll see you in my next video take care bye bye